Well, hello there. Before we get into this video today, I have a question for you. Are you aware of International Spinach Day? Number two. On March 1st. Sponsored by the amazing, incredible Julie Carter. There is going to be prizes given away for this event. How many prizes? So many prizes. International Spinach Day number two is taking place March 1st again this year. There is a video up right now on Julie Farnham's channel. If you want to go find out about the contest rules and the details, there is a link in the video description. All you have to do is click on that link and it'll take you over to the video on Julie Farnham's channel explaining what is exactly International Spinach Day number two. The grand prize from Julie Farnham is going to be a hobby box of Topps 2023 Series 1. So that's pretty amazing all on its own. And like I say, there is going to be many, many more prizes. So that's all you've got to do is click on the link in the video description. It'll take you right over to Julie Farnham's channel. And we will see you all on March 1st when we hunt for spinach. When we hunt for her goose. And now to the video. All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back. Today is a very, very exciting day because I get to do something that I have never done before in my entire life. I received this box from my brother. Big thank you to my brother for giving me this. I was not expecting anything like this at all. Uh, I have my first ever retail box. My very first full-size retail box. I usually only buy the retail blasters and stuff like that, but... This is a big chungus here. I know you can get um, variants, Dazzler variants that are only available in this set and stuff like that. So we shall see what we get out of this here today. Lots of good rookies, lots of good young guns. It would be nice if I could get Power or Kochetkov or Marco Rossi. I've already pulled Boldy. I've already pulled Beneers. So I've had amazing luck with this set. Um, better luck than I've had in a long, long time. Series 1 seems to just be working for me for whatever reason. So again, big thank you to my brother. I really, really appreciate you hooking me up with this. So let's see what we got in here today. I think what I'm going to do, just because this is huge and there's so many packs in here, I think I'm going to split this up into two videos. So we will take the left side out of this here today. And we will go with 12 packs on the left side. Oh, there goes the camera. We will set that off for now. Um, but yeah. Very excited for this. We're going to get six young guns out of that box. So hopefully we can get one of the top ones there. I'm sure we will. And we shall get this going here today. So first pack, pack number one. We have Connor McDaisy on the front there. So let's see what we got in here. This is the best looking, insert, or best looking inserts, yes. But also the best looking base cards that Upper Deck has ever made in my opinion. So we have Miro Heeskinen. On Dallas. Dallas is an absolute wagon this year. Uh, TJ Oshie. Justin Falk. We have Alexander Wenberg. We have our first insert is a Neil Pionk Defense Mechanisms card. We have a Pavel Bushnevich. We have Brandon Tanev. And we have Jonas Brodin. Next pack. I do like the look of those uh, Defense Mechanisms cards. They've really grown on me with time here. There's really not any bad-looking insert sets from Series 1 this year. Uh, Joel eriksson Mario Ferraro. What do we have coming up there? Uh, Chandler Stevenson. And a Freestyles. A red Freestyles. I think the other ones are all different color. I've never seen one with red on there like that. That is awesome. That's a beautiful card right there. A Clayton Keller Freestyles. We have Robin Leonard. We have Cam Talbot and Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight's not having uh, the best year this year. Uh, the goaltending situation in Florida is a little bit of a disaster right now. Bobrovsky seems to be, he'll have one amazing year and then one horrible year. And he just kind of follows that trend. But for being the highest paid goalie in the NHL right now, he's got to figure something out. We got Matt Zuccarello, Anton Lundell. Uh, Alex Kerfoot, and you know what? I kind of like that jersey. At first, I wasn't really sold on that alternate Leafs jersey just because the Leafs have been wearing the same jersey for 3,000 years now. But uh, I kind of like it. And it looks like we got our first young gun coming up here, so fingers crossed. We have a Braden 
Pachal, Braden Pachal, Braden Pachal on the Golden Knights. We have Mikhail Sergachev. We have Kale McCarr. We have Mason Appleton. All right, next pack. We have on the front, we have Morgan Barron, Anton Forsberg, Colton Pareko. We have our first canvas of John Marino. Really like the canvas design this year. Uh, Alex Formanton, Jordan Cairo, Jeff Skinner, and Jonathan Taves. So we should be getting at least... Why do I keep knocking the camera around? What is going on right now? Okay, camera's back. We should be getting at least one Dazzler out of this box. Hopefully we can get a couple. I think there is red and pink are the color variants for the, the retail boxes. So fingers crossed we can get a red or a pink Dazzler. We have Alex Tuck, JD Comfer, Ryan Reeves, who's now with Minnesota. Absolute beast. I really like Ryan Reeves. Uh, Minnesota is probably the toughest team in the whole league right now. Uh, we have Dylan Larkin and we have... A Timmy Strudels. Timmy Strudels, center of attention. That's a beautiful card as well. Uh, Alexi Lafreniere. There he is. Uh, Philip Horonic and Brandon Hagel. Brandon Hagel's been having a great year this year, too. Very underrated player. He's a good uh, depth, good two way guy in Tampa. Pretty much everybody that plays for Tampa is uh, solid. Like they're, That team's just so good. You just don't want to have to play them in the playoffs. Um, Andre Vesnalevsky is what they should be calling that guy. And maybe they should just change the, the Vesna trophy to the Vasilevsky trophy or something. But we have our first checklist of Barkov and Point. We have Tyler Myers. On Vancouver. Vancouver does a, is a disaster this season. We're not even going to get into that. We have our first portraits. That's a beautiful one right there. We have Jonathan Huberdo, who's now with the Calgary Flames. We have JT Miller. I don't like JT Miller. Um, this guy, I don't know. I'm sure most people have seen all the videos and stuff right now, but this guy's apparently the worst teammate in the league. He's apparently just toxic in the locker room. Calling out his players for all sorts of stuff. He doesn't back check. There is no back checking in this guy's game at all. You see him skating around on the ice. His care level's just not there. His effort level's just not there. And then you see him yelling and calling out his teammates on the bench and stuff. But how are you going to do that if you don't even back check and you don't even try? We have Freddie Goudreau. We have Kasperi Kapanen. We have Tyler Toffoli. Really like Tyler Toffoli. He's one of my favorite players. He was amazing back in the day when the Kings had their two cup runs. Um, and now he plays with Calgary. So we have Michael Matheson. Freddie Anderson, who's having a, a bit of an injury-riddled season again. I feel bad for Freddie Anderson because he's such a good goalie. But uh, he was out for most of the year. And then he was back for two weeks. And I think he won every game he played in that stint. And now he's currently injured again. The good news is in Carolina, they have Antti Ranta. They have Kochetkov. They have a ton of really, really good goalies right now. Kochetkov's currently actually sent back down to uh, to the AHL Wolves. Just because you can't have all three of them up. They would have had to put Ranta or Anderson on waivers if they wanted to keep Kochetkov up. But... Um, it's pretty clear at this point that Kachetkov is going to be the goalie of the future there in Carolina. We have Jack Roslovic. We have Joel Armia. We have a Braden Schneider Young Guns. So we're already two Young Guns in there. That's a nice one, Braden Schneider. We have Elvis Merzlikens. We have Jake Allen. And we have Brad Marchand. Uh, yeah, Brad Marchand. I know, I know nobody likes Brad Marchand. But one thing you've got to give that guy credit for is he's absolutely timeless. How long has Brad Marchand been in the league now? Seems like forever. And he doesn't slow down. He never takes a step back. Every day he's in there mixing it up, getting in people's faces, mixing up in the corners. He's still a really good player. So I'm not trying to pump Brad Marchand's tires here. I don't like him. But uh, you got to give him respect. We have David Pasternak. 
We have Dylan Strom. We have Matias Ekholm. There's a beauty one. Hello, Ovi. We got the Alexander Ovechkin superstar honor roll. Um, Ovechkin one day will be the greatest goal scorer of all times, but nobody's ever going to touch Gretzky's points record. It's it's just impossible. It'll never be done. We have Connor Murphy. We have Mike Hoffman. We have Owen Tippett and Erasmus Anderson, who is another one of my favorite players. He played his whole OHL career with the Barry Colts. And um, just, just an absolutely great player. Going back to this, though, I shouldn't say never. Never say never. I said nobody will ever beat Gretzky's point record. Who knows what could happen in 100 years from now if the NHL is still around. People said nobody would ever beat Gretzky's goal-scoring record. And uh, look where we're at. We're here now. I personally don't think anyone will ever break Gretzky's point record. But like I say, who knows what's going to happen in 20 years or 50 years or 100 years. I don't know. If this planet will be around long enough, if the NHL is still going, it's kind of hard to imagine what it'll be like in another 100 years. We have Jeff Carter, Johnny Gaudreau, Carter Verhege, Rasmus Aristolainen, Beauty. Oh my God, there's my guy. We pulled a beautiful Quinton Byfield card. You guys hear me talk about this day in and day out. That is my favorite player to collect for right now. He has recently been back up playing with the Kings. They sent him down there um, just to get a little bit more time in the AHL. They're now playing him on the wing, which uh, he is playing much, much better since being put on the wing. Can be a little bit tough, I guess, for these young guys coming up to play center in the NHL. Um, we have Mason Marchmond, Oscar Lindblom, and Kyler Yamamoto. I really like this Byfield card right there. That is beautiful. I am very happy to get that one. All right, now we have uh, Alexander Barkov, who's going to be replacing Matthews in the All-Star game. We have Kill Clegg, Chris Kreider, uh, Victor Hedman canvas. We have Cole Caulfield. Shout out to Frank for Frank's cards and collectibles. We have Barclay Goudreau, UC Saros, uh, Zach Wierenski, and we have two packs left. This box went by so quick, but uh, it's okay. We're going to have a part two to this video. We have Nathan Bastian, Denis Gurionov, Jacob Markstrom, who's not having a good year this year. I had such high hopes for the Flames at the start of this season. On paper, they are one of the best teams in the league. You lost Kachuk. You replaced him with Kadri. You lost Goudreau. You replaced him with Huberto. You know what? I thought they'd be fine. It has not been fine. I don't know what's going on in Calgary. A lot of people are saying uh, Daryl Sutter has lost the locker room. I don't know. I'm not there, but Markstrom has not been well. Um, and Dan Vladar has actually been amazing. He's something like 13-0-4 in his last all season or whatever. Like I don't think he's lost in regulation. So I'm not 100% sure why they're not playing Vladar more, but it is what it is. We have Igor Sharangovich. There we go. Hello, Marco Rossi. That is a huge one right there. We got the more Julie Farnham, Minnesota Wild Mojo. So shout out to my good friend, Julie Farnham. Batting down the hatches, we got some more Farnamy Farnham Mojo right there. We'll put Rossi up in the background with Byfield. We have... Andrew Mangiapane, who again, I'm getting all the good Barry Colts here today. We have Damon Severson and Pius Suter. All right, I'm happy with this box already, and we're not even halfway through. This will be the last pack for the first part of this video, and then we'll save the second half of that box for a later day. All right, and now here's the last pack here. We'll finish this off. Hopefully we finish it off with a bang. Very happy to get that Rossi Young Guns there. I'm getting good luck with this Series 1. I feel like this is the one Series... Oh! Speaking of good luck, I see something red and quite dazzly there. So, um, maintain composure. What was I saying? I feel like this could be the one Series where I could actually collect all the Young Guns because I've already got all the big ones out of the way. So I wouldn't have to worry about going out and buying them all because I've already pulled them off from the packs. 
So we have Jacob Varana. We have Gabriel Landeskog. We have Braden Point. We have an Igor Sharon Govich red dazzler. It's a color match on the Sharon Govich dazzler. Woo! That is a beauty right there, too. This has been um, amazing. This has been an amazing box so far. I'm very happy with this. Eric Johnson, Alex Kalorn, Yanni Hackenpah. Yanni Hackenpah is a, this guy's a beast. I'm not, I don't really like this guy. He's kind of known for cheap shots. If you saw what he did to Drew Doughty a couple years back, he could have ruined his career. He destroyed Drew Doughty's knee on a really, really dirty play. Um, but I, I like the way he plays. I just don't like when you see people taking cheap shots like that, going knee on knee with all stars and stuff. And uh, last card in the break is Anthony Manta. So this this has been already amazing. I'm only only halfway through this box. It's the first one I've ever opened. But uh, and now we're gonna conclude this video with this usual stuff where I've been beating this dead horse for ages and ages in here, trying to pull a spinach card out of Allen and Ginter. If you're new to the channel and you're asking yourself, what is he talking about? Why do I hear spinach? Why is everyone talking about spinach? In this set, the Allen and Ginter set, there is a spinach card that I have been trying to pull for ages. I have never pulled one, but um, with the amazing help of all these beautiful people of the card community, I now have over 30 of these spinach cards, so um, I am number one spinach collector in the entire world. But will I ever pull one on camera? I don't know. I did get a pack from my buddy Old Man Game recently, and it was a little bit, uh, I don't know. So let's get into this here. We shall see if today is the day and we can finally pull a spinach card. We have Jason Biggs, Charlie Blackman, Lamette. We have our mini fell, which is a Matt Chapman, who is now with the Blue Jays. We have a great white shark. And we have Shane Bowers, or Jake Bowers. Why do I call that guy Shane Bowers all the time? So we didn't get a spinach card. But you know what? Are we going to get a goose? Who knows? We will find out now. We got our next pack of Allen and Ginter. This is this year's Allen and Ginter. And we are hunting for the goose card. There is a insert set in this pack. Or in this pack, in this set called Ducks. One of the cards in the Ducks set is a goose. Is a goose a duck? Is a duck a goose? Is Tops lying to us? Like, I don't think a goose is a duck. Is a duck a goose? Is a goose a duck? No. So why is the goose in the duck set unless they have just done that to troll me and only me, which is kind of what it feels like right now. We have Manny Machado. We have Will Smith. We have Cedric Mullins. Uh, we have Justin Verlander on the pitching a gem. I really like these cards. We have Santo. We did not get a goose. We got a Ron Santo. And we have Jake Beer. Seth Beer. A Seth Beer rookie card. So, well, we didn't get anything nice from the Allen and Ginter. But that doesn't matter because look at all this beautiful stuff we pulled here today. So, again, thank you to my brother for this. I really appreciate this kind of stuff. I hope you all have a great day. And enjoy the polls. <laughs>